Hi everyone, in this video, we'll cover the difference between a relative and absolute path. When we say path, we're either referring to a, a, a URL to a web page or a, uh, a path to a file such as an image or a CSS file or a JavaScript file. Let's get started. It might help if we visualize the paths using a diagram. So let's draw that up. If you imagine a location of the path as a street address, and these are the blocks in your neighborhood. So let's say we have nine blocks here, and let's say you want to get to this location right here. Let's say you're starting from this location. So with a relative path, if you wanted to get from point A to point Z, you would say, start by going east, turn left, turn right, and there you are. Now we call this a relative path because it depends where you start. The directions will always be different. So if you started from this location, location B, you would say something like, go west, turn left, all the way down two blocks, and then take a right. So it's relative depending on where you start. If you started here, it'll be different. With an absolute path, it's always going to be the same. Think of an absolute path as the same thing as an address. So for example, if the address here is 123 Elm Street, regardless of where you start, you can always say, OK, I want to get to 123 Elm Street. And let's say your GPS will just tell you where to go. And you'll know exactly where to go based on the address that you provide. OK, I hope that makes sense. Let's see it in action in HTML now. So for this video, I have a folder called site, and this is the structure of my website. And this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate the, the paths. Um, in the root of my site, I have two pages, page one and page two. And then I have a folder called folder one. In folder one, I have a page called page three and another folder called page two, or sorry, folder two. And then there I have a page called page four. So let's open up page one, the HTML, and look at the HTML. I'm going to use each page to show you um, a specific way to get to a certain location using uh, relative paths in, in this case right now. So in page one, I want to get to page two. And if you notice, page two and page one are at the same level. So in the A tag, and by the way, if you haven't seen the video on the anchor tag to create a hyperlink, I do recommend watching that video before um, continuing on to this because it'll build upon um, what that video uh, goes over with respect to the anchor tag. Okay, so to get from page one to page two, you simply just type in the page name. I'll save that and I will bring up my page. So here you'll see it is page one, the HTML. I'm going to just refresh this. Let me bring this up a bit. So when I mouse over, you can see on the bottom of the browser that it goes to page two, the HTML, and it is in the same location in the same site folder. Click that and you can see that I'm at page two. Okay. Now from page two, I want to go to page three. Page three is in folder one. So the path will look slightly different. I will have to first say, go into folder one, and then with a forward slash, go to page three.html. And this is the relative path to get from page two to page three. Save that. I'm going to refresh page two. 
And when I mouse over, you can see the address in the bottom says, first go to folder one, and then go to page three, the HTML. When I click the link, it takes me to page three. Okay, let's now look at page three. In page three, there will be two links, one to go to page four, which exists in folder two. So it's in here. And the other link in page three will go back to page two in the previous folder. So let's first go to page four. And that's simply just, um, once again, going to folder two first, forward slash, and then page four, that HTML. Now what happens if the page you want to get to is not on is not in a folder on the current one, but you have to go back one folder. In HTML, to go back up one folder, it's dot dot slash. So this dot dot slash is telling the browser, go up one folder, back to the original, and then go to page two. Let's see an action. I'm gonna save it, refresh page three. And when I mouse over, uh, to go to page four, you can see the address in the bottom goes to um, folder two. Oh, I mistyped page. Let me do that again. This, this should be page four. Refresh this again. Okay, folder two, page four, the HTML, like that. And I am in page four. Now I'm gonna hit back. Now, and when I wanna go to page two, you can see in the address below, it says uh, site, which is our, um, our root folder, page to the HTML. So it knows to go back to the, to the root folder and find, and find page two. So I'm gonna click this, and as you can see, it goes to page two. Okay. Let's now look at page four. So in page four, we want to go back to page one. Um, just a reminder, page four exists in folder two, and page one exists two folders away in the original, um, in the root of our site. So we want to go back two folders. So to do that, we just say dot dot slash to go back one folder, dot dot slash again to go back a second folder, and then page one dot html. I'm going to save this refresh page four. Let's see. I want to get to page four by clicking there and here refresh. When I mouse over this link, you can see that it goes to the site folder, which is our root page one, the HTML. And there we go. We're at page one again. One other thing, Let's say from page one, I wanted to go to page four, and that's two folders away. It's in, I have to go through folder one and then through folder two to reach page four. To do that, I simply just type in the path that I need to traverse to get there, separated by forward slash. Save, refresh page one. And when I mouse over, you can see that it goes to folder one, folder two, and then finally page four.html. There you go. And that's it for relative paths. So to recap, a relative path will uh, differ depending on where you start. So if I wanted to go to page four from page one, my path will look like this. If I wanted to go to page four from page three, my path will look like this because it's all relative on where you start. Page three is in one location, page one is in another location. Next, let's go over absolute paths. If you remember from our diagram, an absolute path is like the address of a, um, of a street address. It will always be the same regardless of where you're coming from. So 
in the HTML world, your full address will always start with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, usually your domain name. So let's say www.site.com. And then this is where you have your path to your, uh, to your destination. So if I want to go to page four from here, I would say uh, forward slash folder one, forward slash folder two, and then page four HTML. So I can take this path. Let me just resize this. I can take this full address and paste it wherever I need to link to page four. And it doesn't matter where, um, where that current page resides. It can be in folder one, it can be in folder two, it can be in the root folder. It doesn't matter. It can be on, on another site. Um, and as long as I use this link, it'll take me exactly to page four every time it's clicked. So to see this in action, I'm going to use the award space free website that, um, that I've set up in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, I recommend going back and watching that. Uh, it does give you a free hosting account to put your website and play around with a very, very cool thing that award space is doing. And I'm going to use it right here. I'm first going to sign into my award space account that I've created. Okay, go to hosting tools, file manager. And in the last video, I created a website with a domain mycoolautopage.atwebpages.com. So I'll need to update my link in my HTML page before I can do anything else. So I'm just going to change this to www. Actually, we can get rid of www. Just say mycool auto page dot at web pages dot com folder one folder two page four that html and also i want to create another link to a site that is outside of my um outside of my current page to show you that i can use an absolute link to link to anywhere on the internet so i'm gonna go to cheese.com and go to a page called baby Bree. Add my closing anchor tag and save. Okay. Back at a word space, I want my folder structure to replicate what I have locally. So the first thing I need to do is go into my cool auto page folder site, create a folder in here called folder one. Go into folder one, create a folder called folder two. And in here, I'm going to upload page four dot HTML. I'm going to just drag it over, upload. Okay, and then close out of here, go back up two folders. And at my root, I am going to upload page one dot html okay to view my site i'll have to go back up to hosting tools domain manager i could type in the url myself but 
I'm a bit lazy. So we're gonna go here and scroll down, click on open website. It'll open up a new tab. Um, and we need to type in page one dot HTML. Okay, and as you can see, we have two links here. One to go to page four. Again, I'm gonna mouse over and you can see at the bottom of the browser, it's gonna go to mycoolautopages.com or mycoolautopage.adwebpages.com folder one, folder two, and then page four dot HTML. And there we go, we're at page four. I'll go back and for my second link, it's gonna go straight to cheese.com slash baby brie. Okay, and I'm gonna go back. So that is an absolute path. You can use it on your internal site uh, to point to a to any page um, and the the absolute address will always be the same regardless of where you put the link, um, regardless of where the page is where that has a link. The other purpose of a absolute path is to go to a page that is outside of your um, outside of your current website. So you can go to cheese.com, google.com, um, you know, cnn.com, anything you want. And also, as I stated in the beginning of the video, of the video Absolute and relative paths are not only for URLs. The, you can also use them for images um, and also to link to references such as CSS files or JavaScript files. I'll go into more detail about linking images in another video, but in this one, we just wanted to go over relative and absolute paths. So that's it. I hope this video made sense. It's kind of a uh, a vague topic to grasp if you're new to the web world, but um, go ahead and, and play around with it, practice and, and um, you'll start to understand the difference between the two and, and why you should use one over the other. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be releasing videos uh, several times a week and we'll go over um, basic HTML for the next few weeks just to get a baseline of the web technologies. And from there, we'll go into databases and JavaScripts and CSS and a lot more of the fun stuff. So until then, keep coding.